Okay, we want to use the CO2 probe. Eventually, at the end of this, before the experiment, the worms will be in here, already masked out. The probe, even though it might be connected to the middle of the desk, that's fine, will be inserted like that, and readings will be able to be taken for CO2. So what we need to do is we need to pair this probe with the iPad. That is its Bluetooth connection code. So I go to the home screen of the iPad. I press the Spark View app. Just like that. Um, you might get this screen, you might not, but either way, you can go up to the left-hand corner or you press right here, build new experiment. All right, the layout, I want it to be a large square. Click on that. I want to make a graph, so I click on that. And now I need to set my axis. So first of all, I want to make sure that this is paired. So I click on the Bluetooth. And it is successfully already paired. This is my second take of the video. That's why to the matching code, I press check. I want my Y axis to read CO2. So I have to make sure I click over here. I clicked on that. I want to click CO2, check. And I want it to take readings every 30 seconds. So I go down here to where it says periodic and I press the button. I go to the sample rate and I want it to be every, let's say 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go left hand button Actually, let's make it every 30 seconds, All right? Press OK. Now the scene is set. You're going to take a reading every, um, actually, you'll take a reading at the end of five minutes. But don't forget, you can press start after you have let it, let it, sorry, let the mealworms inside of the water bath calibrate and situate for a minute. After a minute's passed, just like this, you are ready to press start. And you let it take readings for five minutes. So I'm going to press start. Let's pretend it's been a minute. I wait for five minutes. And we're good. Press stop.